All right, so we made it to Utah. Woo! Yay! More weather at last! Yep, there we go. Now check this out. We pulled over at a spot where... Whoa! Oh, that is weird. What? Whoa! Whoa! This is clay, Dad. This is clay. Don't, don't get into it. Your shoes are dirty enough as it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that salt just kind of on top oh my goodness this is so crazy don't get your shoes all dirty it's like crystal. That's Alina, that was an accident it's i said stay away from it it's like crystal yeah all the salt that's in it Ew. it's like clay oh it's like stuck to my hand too so anyways we're we're testing this out salt flats for the first time um we our directions uh using various applications and stuff for where to camp dispersed camping is what we're used to so we were like well let's check out the dispersed camp scene here and eh, i don't know it's not the greatest spot but it's got a good view so the highway's right there so we don't really care about that but you can't really hear it so that's nice but over here look at these you get these mountains in the view that is really cool What'd you think? It feel, oh, I guess no, it feels dry. <laughs> yeah, your hands feel it weird after it dries. It doesn't smell like salt, it's like, you know, the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah looking for that smell, but it doesn't smell the same. Ancient seabed, this is what happens. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. And we're like at 4,400 feet. So, uh, it's pretty cool. Well, anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna look to see, uh, if we want to stay here or go deeper into the mountains and kind of just see this is all new territory for us. So this is exciting. I saw these bunch of piles right over here. I was trying to figure out if they're just the clay, whatever it is that's underneath the salt. Oh, it's a big trench. Ooh. Oh, hey, there's a creek here. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty deep too. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a canal, I think. It's pretty straight. The water looks super deep. All right, so we found another camp spot. Um, we're gonna kind of just see what happens, see what the others think of it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, look at that. It's pretty awesome. And here comes the others. Oh, look at that view.
climbed up one of the side roads here just to kind of see if there's a flatter spot. I don't know if we're asking for too much, but there you go, there's the salt flats. All these little tiny caves in the rocks. Probably full of little critters and stuff. Oh man, that is gorgeous. All of this is just beautiful. Oh, look at that. There's that ring out there on the ridge. Down in the valley down there. Nice and flat. If we didn't want to be... If we couldn't find a nice flat spot up here. Oh, look at the train going. On the salt flats. Long train. Ooh. All right, well, after some deliberation, we decided that the spot that we had uh, up into the rocks, up into there, um, was uh, not level enough. And so, and plus we were worried about any drop-offs on each side that the kids could potentially kind of fall down. So anyways, we found a different spot. Um, it is much flatter. It is also... Um, Maybe a little bit more exposed. However, we kind of position the vehicles to where we think it'll be okay and it won't uh, uh, be too too much wind. So here it is. It's still got a good view. Um, there are some salt flats out here. Not as big as the main salt flats on the other side back away. Um, so we're kind of on the back side of the mountains we were looking at earlier. But yeah, it's... It's pretty out here. We're about to see the sunset out that way. But yeah, this is a really pretty area. We, we're not very far. In fact, uh, the border of Nevada is only about, I don't know, maybe three miles, four miles. Well, it might be more than that, but it's not super far that direction. And so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really pretty spot. I love this rock. Uh, this is a rock we were at closer we were closer to earlier, uh, checking out the campsite. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice spot. So let's let's go take a look and see uh, what we're having for dinner. And I guess we'll start with the wife. Uh, she seems to be uh, the closest and maybe the, possibly the furthest along. All right, hon, what are you making for dinner? So we're gonna have a chicken pesto pasta with cherry tomatoes and Parmesan cheese in with it. Ooh, I didn't know about the cherry tomatoes and Parmesan cheese. That sounds good. All right. Anything, uh, anything stand out to you on today's adventure? The views, the way the scenery would change, how it would be, you'd go over mountains and it would just be flat, like you're kind of in a fishbowl with mountains surrounding all the way around. Mm -hmm. And some of the roads just seemed like they would go on forever, like straight stretches. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, I got a little sunburn today. I can see that. Yep. <laughs> so it's a little tender, so we'll have to make sure we put more sunscreen on tomorrow because it's just going to get hotter from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went from the cold high altitude to the hot high altitude. <laughs> yeah, we went from cold with rain and hail to the surface of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. All right. Well, I look forward to dinner. Let's go check out, see what mom's got cooking. All right, mom, what are you making for dinner? And chicken pizzas tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah. And last night you said you made tacos. I made tacos instead. Yeah. Okay. It was easy, but I get into camp sometimes so late, so then it's like, okay, Motivation. I wanted to make a steak, but Dad's like, well, it's almost nine o'clock, so it'd be too hard to eat a steak. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So it's like, okay, we're having fajitas. Yep. We're still having steak though. It's steak fajitas. Oh, they look good. Yeah. They look good. I hope they taste good. Hi, Sakash Hi. Did you have fun today? Drone. Drone? Oh, is Papa flying the drone? Boy, drone. Oh, we'll get to look at it. Yeah. Well, the steak fajitas look good. I hope so. I'm going to find my peppers now. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. 
Well, what's uh, what's something that stood out to you today as a highlight? Um. Wow. Um, uh, going up to that Ruby Mountain. Oh yeah. That was gorgeous. I mean, the mount, the sheer, the cliffs, and I mean how high they were. And then there's a the river running through it, and just that hike was really fun too. Going on that exploring you know through there but yeah that ribbon mountain was really a highlight yeah, <laughs> it feels like it. so long ago <laughs> i know i was like was that today okay yeah it was today. oh man it's funny how the country has changed from those those forested high glacier <laughs> yeah, peaks to this desert <laughs> well i was gonna try and figure out what those mountains over there because the south mountains are around here in moab so, well, we're a long ways from Moab, though, because well, that's I on the other side. Well, I mean in Utah, you know, but I don't know how close they are to Moab or... Because they're off in a distance. Okay. So I'm not sure if we can see any of that yet or not. We'll have to get the map out and look. Yeah. But nice. anyway, that was exciting today on good. Those, that hill climb. Good, good. <laughs> All right. All right. I think you will. <laughs> well, it sounds like Michaela's on the phone with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nathan. Hey. Uh, Tony's on. We're giving her a taste. Hey, Tony. Hi, can't wait to be there. Oh, yeah. Are you all packed and ready to go? Almost. I just have the food. That's the last thing. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, good. Are you leaving tomorrow night? Yeah, I think so. Oh wow. How far do you think you're gonna get? I have no idea. Honestly it depends on if my boss wants to be off on time or not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, well drive safe. We can't yeah. wait till you get here. <laughs> yeah, it's got some pretty views. Um, we'll save the good stuff for when you get here, though. <laughs> so, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Well, drive safe. Tell Devin hi. Tell Uncle. Okay, <laughs> Bye. See you soon, Tony. <laughs> Bye. All right, Michaela. Yeah. Well, I, I, you're well along in dinner. What are you making? Um, hamburgers. Simple oh. tonight. Nice. I did some jalapenos and onions. And okay. Yeah. Nice. They look good. With yeah. jalapenos. And just the regular toppings and carrots. All right. Good. Good. They look delicious. <laughs> on the side. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. This smells good. So uh, what's one highlight of today that you, you liked? Oh, I loved Ruby Mountains. Okay. Mom that said the same. It was beautiful. Yeah. I just... I couldn't get over the views. <laughs> every turn was better. So I was like taking pictures every turn we took. <laughs> it's a good so. thing we've got a little more storage on our phones yeah. now. Yeah. I loved Ruby Mountains. I think that was totally worth going into Nevada for. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that was good. I did enjoy those as well. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Uh, so how far do you think we're going to make it tomorrow? I know we're going to see Salt Lake and then, um, I don't know, maybe we'll get halfway to Moab <laughs> from there. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, somewhere um, Vernon, I'm not sure if that was one of the, the spots that's south of Salt Lake. Okay, all right. What? Hi. 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 Are you playing with the kids? Oh, the drone? Oh, look, there's the sunset. Catching a little piece of it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good night, Greg. Yep, nice day. Good All right, Asta. Good night, son. What, uh, I see you're getting your tent all sent up. Yeah, this is a privacy mm -hmm. tent. Perfect. So, uh, do you have a highlight from today? I love Ruby Monkey. <laughs> Daddy. Drone? Run. Oh, is it out there somewhere? Oh yeah, I see it. It's way out there. Oh. <laughs> and I love that. Seen that beaver dam. I've never seen a beaver dam. Oh yeah, yeah. That's huge. 
Yeah. That was big. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen one that big either. Man. I wonder how many beavers were actually involved with that. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Click on that pole first. It was. A little more that last little piece of that sunset. That's super pretty. This is kind of that flat spot that Andrew kept describing. We ran into so many of these. There'd be high peaks around it and then just this really super big flat spot. It's kind of funny. All right, well, we'll see how far we get on the next one.